All right, guys, we're starting off with the drink station, as any buffet should. You know, you start off with drinks. Here we got some clean cups. Here's a soda machine over here, which uh, offers you a fantastic choice of almost anything you can possibly want in the world of soda, including very strange stuff like, uh, like I don't know, like Pip. Pip. I don't know what that is, guys. So you can explore different sodas, but uh, sugar is bad for you. Like, you know, no, humans are not meant to have that much sugar at one time. You know, all concentrated and everything. Just saying. Right, some uh, garbage, uh, garbage receptacle here. Here we have non-dairy creamers, my favorite. We got here French vanilla. Hazelnut. Oh, that's pretty good, guys. Hazelnut? Nice. My favorite. Here we have a selection of teas for you. The kind of tea they can bring with you home, you know, and enjoy at home. Comforts of your own home. I mean, like, you're not supposed to, you know, but... There's a coffee dispenser. Iced coffee, hot coffee, hot water, decaf hot coffee, decaf iced coffee, right? Now, the thing is, I don't believe in decaf. Like, if you're going to drink coffee, drink real coffee. Unless, of course, there's a medical issue, then you should not. Hey, coffee cups. These are actually quite small, guys. Another coffee dispenser. And here we have 2% uh, milk, 1% chocolate milk, right? These dispensers, the inside is a big plastic bag of milk, and it just gravity brings it out. Nice stuff. Here we got a selection of juices. Orange juices, cranberry, apple, I do not know why there's uh, two oranges. Maybe it's the most popular one, that's why. Okay, iced tea, guys. Need no explanation. You got unsweetened, sweetened, sweet green tea, raspberry iced tea. Wow, guys. Here we have slices of lemon for your tea. Some straws. Another soda machine. And more cups. Now this has to be one of the most complete drink stations uh, in Vegas. Like they, they they got everything, guys. I mean, like they don't got the espresso, cappuccino, and stuff like that. But hey, hey, hey. all right, moving on. Fruit, melons, and stuff. I'll go this way this time. We got wow, nicely sliced watermelon, and and they even like like cut off the green part for you. So that's really nice. Here we have cantaloupe. No, 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 sorry, that's cantaloupe. This is honeydew. It kind of like threw me off with the raspberries and blueberries on top. I, I was just thinking, did someone spill that? But obviously not, because there's raspberries and, and uh, blueberries and, and all sorts of blackberries, you know, all over the fruit. So here's the cantaloupe. An assortment of juices for your drinking pleasure. And they are in little cups. That's the size of the cups, guys. Little, little cups. Here are some uh, clean plates for you. And if you notice, the Bellagio is the flagship property of the M MGM, okay? So the plates gotta be clean. If you go over to the uh, MGM buffet, expect most of them to be a little bit all worn out and stuff. Look how clean and shiny these plates are. Now that, is a is a must in the buffet you know it's all about the experience ripped cream cheese capers red onion now guys they don't skimp guys they have locks all the locks you can eat you can get your money's worth in just locks because locks is very expensive guys here we have miniature bagels they are miniature guys that's the size of the bagels all right sour cream Onion, that's, I'm, I'm guessing these are tomatoes. Uh, it's lacking a sign for that, but there's a sign for the onion. All right, uh, little green granules. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna pretend I know, guys. And of course, it's very excellent jellies and jams. I really like the, uh, the red ones, guys. Okay, more clean plates. Here we have uh, capers and butter, watercress. This thing is missing a sign. 
I'm sorry, but I do not know what that is. I'm not a botanist or anything like that. And I don't eat vegetables, like I don't like it, you know, so. But I know this is bacon. I don't care if this sign or not. I know that's bacon, guys. We have here tomatoes and avocado and basil and ricotta cheeses. We have uh, spiced honey butter, some bananas and Nutella, rip oh my god, honey butter, that's good. And of course, this is uh, the toast bar where they make a toast for you. And of course, you're going to ask for like, uh, you know, give me this with this with this, don't do that. And then do you do this and then spread it around in this direction and all that stuff. You got to tip the guy, right? Because, you know, you're making people work for you and they, they deserve it. Hardworking folks. And over here is a selection of bread. These are your typical breads, right? Then now over here, we got a typical bread, right? The prefix a means absent, right? So like asexual, someone who don't have sex. You know, asymptomatic, you know, that, that word is really popular nowadays. It's without symptoms, absent of symptoms. So a, atypical. Here we go. Especially this here, charcoal bread, guys. This charcoal bread was a mystery to me for like at least three of these videos. I keep walking by like, what's that black bread? All right, and then we got bagels and I got to get, get rid of the customer, get out of the customer's way. Ah, customers, customers. You know, I, I gotta wait in line like everyone else. Oh, so that's what this is, shrimp. All right, seafood salad, octopus and potato salad. Shrimp and scallop salad. And then over here we have tuna salad. I like tuna salad, guys, especially when they smush it really, really fine. It's a beautiful tuna salad. Got here seaweed salad. Over there is the uh, tuna poke. This over here are mussels. It appears to be two kinds of mussels. One is slightly green and one is black. Maybe I'm gonna have to try to taste the difference. We have lemons. We have cocktail sauce and salmon poke. Very good, guys. This uh, station over here, which is uh, opposite of the station we were just at, we have warm maple syrup. Warm maple, guys. Let's see. Oh, nice and warm indeed. Here we have caramelized apples. Oatmeal, guys. It's very oatmeal looking. And a selection of very clean bowls for you. The cleanliness of this buffet is magnificent. Okay. Butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, black raisins. Uh, I'm guessing this is stuff you put onto your oatmeal. Some fruits over here. More stuff for you to put on top of your oatmeal. Clean spoons. Pears. All right, so this one is not labeled, but this one is a chicken soup. So let's see what this is, guys. It, I, I really couldn't see what this is, but it smells like miso soup. All right, this station over here. Omelette station, it says. Ah, oh, we got apple crepes, blueberry sauce, strawberry sauce, French toast, guys, cheese blints, scrambled eggs. All right, guys. Ah. Oh, pork sausages guys a proper pork sausage and the bacon looks terrific nice looking bacon now over here as we uh, cross over the rope and the stanchions omelets made to order whole eggs egg whites bacon and ham shrimp spinach onions tomato red pepper jalapenos and mushrooms and you got all these ingredients for you to choose from and I'm guessing that is an egg white and those are regular eggs. 
and you got stuff all for you to put into your armlets, guys. It's looking really good, guys. Station. We have baby carrots, spring farro, breakfast potatoes, like actual like whole potatoes. We got here. Oh, this is looking real good. A vegetable selection over here. We got meatballs, mashed potatoes, and sausage and peppers. All right, we are now at a station called the Taste of the Far East. I'm guessing that means Asian and not like New Jersey. All right, clean plates, guys. Steamed rice, I guess it is Asian. Yes, very steamy. Here we got soy sauce, chili sauce. Oh guys, we got bok choy. Oh, wait, is this bok choy? It looks like bok choy. It could very well be. Here we have walk tossed Brussels sprouts, guys. Chicken pot stickers. Hog gao, which is a little beat up, but it is 2 p.m., guys. Siu mai. Fried rice, noodles, and sesame chicken, and some chopsticks for you. All right, guys. All right, now this is what they call the taste of Italy. Hey, forget about it. We got mussels and garlic white wine sauce Chilean sea bass seared salmon and we got this here oyster Rockefeller I'm not sure how, why this is Italian though but the, hey if they say so they say so right what you gonna do we are now at hot stone pizza and flatbread Guys, so hot stone pizza for you, all different varieties. I don't eat pizza at a buffet, guys, but even if they do call it hot stone, but I wonder where is that hot stone? Oh my guys, there it is. There's that uh, hot stone right there. I'm guessing. All right, so. Uh, we got some Italian stuff here too. Grow vegetables, cheeses and cold cuts, mayonnaise and mustard. Okay guys. And we got here waffles and pancakes. Alright, now we're at my least favorite part of the buffet, the salad bar. But I must show you guys. So, so healthy guys, healthy. Romaine, mixed greens, spinach. We got pico di gallo, mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese. Crumbled blue cheese. Cucumber and onions and hard boiled eggs for you. We got some uh, cherry tomatoes, olives and croutons. You know, for the salad eating pleasure. We got here a bunch of dressings, balsamic and blue cheese, Italian, Caesar, Thousand Island, and ranch. All right, and that's it for the salad station. Now let's move on. Uh, here we go, guys. This is what we're talking about. The meat station. So we have all these delicious meats, guys. Why are those vegetables over there? Get them out of here. All right. Chicken, turkey, several gravies, mashed potato, vegetable medley, brioche stuffing. So I guess it's made out of this type of bread, right? And they turn it into stuffing. All right, guys, now we have glazed ham. It's looking excellent. We have Flank steak, one of my favorite types of beef. Prime rib, guys. And uh, 
I'm not sure what that is. But that's, it's looking delicious. It's meat and it's brown. Now we have barbecue sauce, uh, juice, broccolini, mushrooms, asparagus, the entire thing, not just the tip, guys. Polenta with bone marrow. Look at that, guys. Chunks of what I believe to be femurs. They look like femurs, guys. All right, here we have mac and cheese. So this is a warm maple syrup, some toast, melted butter. All right, we got very clean bowls and utensils. Butter and breads, guys, butters and breads. Oh my, oyster crackers. Oyster crackers are one of my favorite things for my New England clam chowder. Now because it's oyster crackers over here, I'm thinking that it's gotta be serving New England clam chowder. I'm really excited guys. Let's see, do they have it? It's tomato basil, no! It's like getting a 20 and the dealer got blackjack, no! Uh, grilled cheese and clam chowder, yay! It's a push. All right, guys. So this is the bar seating area, right? There's no video poker at the bars in this one. So what's going on here is that back in the day, like like decades ago, right? The Bellagio is such a good and wonderful buffet that the lines are out the door. I mean, like it is around the corner and all the way down. So the trick back then is you go all the way to the front and you tell them, hi, I would like to be seated at the bar. And usually nobody likes to sit at the bar. You can come inside, grab a seat here. The bartender will get you your drinks back then. They didn't have the drink stations back then, right? So you, you'll, you'll come here, but that's back before. Nowadays, because of the Corona and everything, it's not so popular anymore. The Alaskan King Crab is gone. Please see my Alaskan King Crab video. One of my very first videos from YouTube. And boy, so nowadays it's not as crowded. You can come grab a table, like basically no wait at all. Very, very short wait, if any. But this is the bar, guys. One of the best kept secrets of the Bellagio Buffet from way back in the day. And our final thing to see is the dessert station, guys. We got caramel sauce, chocolate sauce. We got stuff to sprinkle. It's very nice, guys. I'm just amazed at how clean these all are. It, it matters to me, guys, that everything is so clean. Something green, raspberry sorbet, lemon sorbet, birthday cake, sea salt caramel, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, cookies and cream. Enjoy, enjoy, guys, enjoy. It is looking really good. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. All right. Now, I'm gonna go underneath here. We got blueberry pie, pecan pie, lemon meringue cupcake. This looks like red velvet. Chocolate cupcake. It's looking really good, guys. Cheesecake and uh, key lime pie. Look at that. You sh people will come here just for the dessert offerings. It's, it's that good. Oh, oh, tiramisu, guys. Look how moist looking it is. Carrot cake. Nicely carrot colored on top. We have here Oreo cheesecake. Yummy. Chocolate mousse, guys. Looking really good. Here we have chocolate molten cake and some kind of cupcake, poppy seed maybe? I'm not certain. Oh, I love these things in the jar. It is a, a strawberry looking, a raspberry looking thing. Oh, guys, oh, push, it's like I just won a, 
bet is like pushing the chips towards me. Look at that. It's so good, guys. It's so good. These are miniature donuts. We got brown ones, pink ones. We got here. Oh. I never had these before. Did, I, I'm guessing the danishes or pies. We got cookies. Oh, guys, they are danishes, guys. Cookies. Oh, heavens lord, the creme brulee. I only like this because of what they do with the crust. It's so good, guys. And croissants. All right, you can tell the good croissants, right? Look, look at these flakes. You see it all coming off? That means it's a very flaky croissant. Nice, guys. It's not like the croissant from the other day, from the other video, where it's like a sponge. It's like, what kind of croissant is that? And here we are. Uh, I believe these are Cheerios and these are cornflakes. I mean, like, you don't come to the Bellagio Buffet to eat cereal, which is why they don't have a mountain of cereal and little boxes for you to take home, you know? So it's a little bit of cereal for those who, who absolutely gotta have it, you know? So, oh look, and they got some torches over there, guys, to torch their creme brulee. Nice. All right, guys. So that is everything inside the Bellagio Buffet. It is delicious looking, and uh, yeah. Alright guys, now, I have to tell you the truth, I'm not too hungry today, but we're going to eat a few things to see how it's like. So, I was very curious about the difference between the two muscles. So we got here the two muscles, the green and the black. We got this here, what they call the shrimp and scallop salad, which is looking really good guys. And some tuna pokey. And of course, uh, did I mention the crispy bacon? If I did, it's worth mentioning twice. Crispy guys, crispy. Okay, along with that, I got myself a miniature bagel with everything, with some smoked salmon and some ripped cream cheese, and also some of these green granules, which I will sprinkle on it. I do not know what this is, guys, and I'm not gonna pretend like I know. Because you know, some people have been commenting on my videos, you should find out what they are and tell us. I'm like, no, man. I'm just a regular guy. I'm not. I'm a medic. I'm not a food reviewer. You know, I just enjoy going to buffets and I want to share it with you guys. That's all this is. Me sharing the wonderful, delicious buffet. All right, let's eat. All right, guys. First, the bacon. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. It's very crunchy, you guys. It's so crunchy that you can crumble this and put it on your salad. If you like salad. Mm. This is the type of bacon you want in your sandwich, right? But you know how if you don't cook the bacon crispy enough, it's kind of like chewy or tough, right? Not unpleasantly tough, but you know, like you bite into the, like a bacon burger and then as you're trying to pull away your bite, the whole piece of bacon comes out. It won't happen with this. Like you bite into this, it's bacon in your mouth. You know what I mean? Mm. All right. The difference between the two muscles. The black one is uh, orange and the green one is white. And this is obviously uh, a visual size difference too. Taste the muscles, guys. It 
practice and muscles, guys. Moving on. Tuna poke. It's spicy, guys. The spiciness came like four seconds after you start chewing. Whoa. All right. I'm gonna rub the spiciness all over the bacon. Hmm. Now put the tuna on the bacon. Oh, by the way, do you guys know that I like bacon? Shrimp and scallop salad. First, I'm gonna try what I believe are the scallops. They're really small, guys. They are so small that the mayonnaise dressing overpowers the scallop. It might as well have been like a balls of starch or something formed that mimics scallops. I wouldn't be able to taste the difference. I need to take, you know, eat big pieces of scallop to get that scallop flavor. But it is what it is. Let's try the shrimp, guys. This is a good quality shrimp. The way you bite into it and the way it responds, like it bounces in your mouth. Good shrimp. And of course, for those who are, are you know, particular about the whole vein thing, the intestinal tract and stuff like that, you know, it's been uh, cleaned properly. Properly. I don't mind eating it. I have put worse things in my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish this up. And we're gonna go for round two. The winner, oh! I forgot the bagel. Losing my mind, guys. Now, if they offered an option to toast this bagel, I, I must, if they did, I missed it. But it's so small, maybe it won't come out of the toaster. But I don't think they make miniature toasters this size, you know? Like for children, in the little Barbie play kitchen.
round two. Ice cream, guys. Ice cream. I'm starting with the ice cream because it melts. It's already kind of melting already, guys. All right. It's like a gelato. Mm. Eight out of ten. Good gelato, guys. Now, this, this stuff here. I got the ha gao, the lo mein, one meatball, Brussels sprouts, and some potatoes. Let's give this a try. This is number two because ha gao's tend to dry out. It's a very tasty ha gao, guys. Now the Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprout, guys. Very flavorful. Now for the potato. It's very earthy, you know, I mean, like it's from the earth, right? All right, so uh, the lo mein or chow mein, whichever that was. The hint of spiciness to it. Wow, oh wow. Wow, it's quite spicy. Ah, whoa, kind of spicy, guys. Whoa, all right, the meatball singular. Mm. It looks nice inside, guys. Hmm. Hmm. It's very meaty. Here's an interesting one, guys. We have here the turkey breast with brown gravy, a, uh, some mushrooms, and one headless quail. Let's give it a try, guys. First, the turkey. No, first the brown gravy. Brown gravy. Mmm, flavorful. It got the real turkey smell, not the institution turkey from other places.
I think it's a real turkey, guys. Right, mushrooms, guys. I don't know what kind of mushrooms these are, but it's really uh, very mushroom tasting. I don't think I ever had mushrooms like these before. What are these mushrooms, guys? Pretty good. Hmm. I like the headless quail, guys. It's kind of stiff. I had to use the knife. I was gonna bite into it, but then the, the, the arms are in my way. There we go. Man, this is small, guys. I need smaller knife and fork, like, like a scalpel or something. Ah. There you go. I guess this would be quail breast. It kind of looks like duck. Hmm. It tastes like a, a blend of turkey and duck. All right, next thing we have here, we got oysters Rockefeller. We have a piece of salmon and a piece of the fish that was next to the salmon on the buffet line. I no longer remember what that is, but let's give it a try. The fish next to the salmon. Hmm. 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 That's a tasty fish. This will be perfect in the in the fried as a fish and chips. Make sure you check out my fish and chips videos here in Las Vegas, guys. Now for the salmon. Well, the salmon is kind of overcooked, guys. But, you know, this is coming from a guy who eats a salmon wall. I mean, like, I think it is overcooked. It's not bad, but again, it is 3 o'clock. Right, oysters, Rockefeller, guys. Just select the best looking one. I think this one's really good looking. Hey there, good looking, how you doing? Oh, it's moist in there. That's what I said. I mean, literally, I literally, I, I just said it. So that's really good. Hmm. Hmm. Tasty, guys. Tasty. All right, gotta hurry along before you. Stop watching my video, wasting your time. Now here's something really worth watching here. The Bellagio waffle, guys. Check it out, it has the Bellagio symbol right on it. Now, I'm not sure if I have it in the correct orientation, but you know, nowadays any orientation is fine, right? All right, now on the reverse, it's a waffle, right? Like this, you know it's a waffle. Like this, it makes you wonder. Then you read the sign and it says waffles. Okay, I dip in some syrup. Crispy. 
is properly cooked through. It's a good waffle, guys. Mmm, mmm. So good. All right, now the clam chowder. Which, of course, there's oyster crackers, guys. I'm a sucker for these oyster crackers. Running out of time, guys. They're closing. They're going to kick me out. They're going to kick me out through guilt. You know, they don't actually come and tell you to leave, but then you see them, like, putting up the chairs. I'm just, you know, like, you, you know they're closing, you know. I you know, can't, can't keep the staff here longer than they should be. Hmm. Is this clam chowder? I believe that it would be better if they reduced it 30%. And then it would be great. Yeah. Reduce 30%. Okay, now for these uh, thing of meat. We got here, oh, let's do the vegetables first, guys. Got here, um, broccolini. I'm not a vegetable fan, guys. Okay, now, here we have asparagus. Mmm. Mmm. Very well prepared. Slice the prime rib, guys. It looks to be cooked a nice medium. I like it like this. And notice how it's, notice how you saw it before, it's cooked thoroughly around the whole thing. Prime rib. Tender. Now let's try. Oh, this delicious piece of flank. Oh my god, this is like ten dollars worth. Really good, look, looking really good, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Flank is what I use. When I do my stir fries at home for stir fry beef, I use flank. We got here uh, what I believe to be uh, what I appear to be. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm thinking either is that a distal or proximal femur, right? It's kind of hard to tell because they cut off the part that would have revealed. Yeah, but anyway, let's give it a try, guys. It's fine. I'm pretty sure it tastes just like any other bone out there. All right. Now, let's get to desserts. Now, this is a selection, okay, that I picked up. So let's uh, get this sorted. Alright, first we're going to do the croissant. Because I was talking about how flaky it was. Oh yes, guys. Yes. Look at it. It's a proper croissant. Mmm. 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 Mmm.
So good, guys. Okay. There are no cameras here, right? <gasps> There's cameras. The eye in the sky is gonna go like, sir. Oh, wait. Donut, guys. Hmm. Wow, it's got so much berry flavor. Makes me wonder if the dough is also flavored. I'm gonna try just the dough. Oh, no wonder. It also uh, filled with something, evidently. The red dot that's in the dough. Hmm, all right. Let's check the chocolate one out. Oh, I guess they have injection holes over here. Right? It's kind of like a part of your, uh, you know, secondary exam. Mm, yep, look at that. It's filled, guys. The donuts are filled. Who knew? I didn't know. Mm, 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 mm. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Danish. Wonderful. The other thing is, mmm, good. The thing, the thing inside a jar. Mmm, it's really good. This piece of pie, they're closing up, guys. A piece of pie. Beautiful. Oreo cheesecake. Oh. This brown thing. Mmm. Good brown thing. Carrot cake. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. I'll say 95% of the stuff here is excellent. And uh, we'll give you the uh, final thoughts outside the parking lot after these commercial messages. All right, let's get out of here before they, they beat me up in the back alley. Or the parking lot. I'll be like, well, here are my final thoughts, guys. And then clunk. He calls me the nice manager. Yeah, the nice manager lady. And this is a nice chef man. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. We're here with the, uh, with the nice manager lady from my previous videos. You recognize her. And this is the brand new chef. We're going to have exciting offerings at the Bellagio Buffet. So what are you, what are you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So um, we're going to open soon. And uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, we're planning to put a lot of action station. Uh, we're going to have our live sushi station. We're going to have a ramen station. We're going to start rolling it. Rolling Ooh. with it. And we're going to have a ramen station with, the, with you know, some of the classic uh, stations with the pasta, with the seafood. There's going to be a lot of hot seafood. Uh, Giro station, we're going to put that as well. And all the uh, nice offerings for the carving station as well. Ooh. Well, so, I mean, like, that's all good and all, but I, I don't think I heard something about Alaskan king crab legs. Not yet. <laughs> Soon. Fishing season Soon. is over. We have Waiting to wait. for the fishing season. We but have to wait to the new fishing season. As soon as you know. we, get, uh, we get it, it's, as soon as fishing season comes in, we're going to get it. Yes. Soon. Very yes. soon. Okay. But right soon, now, right? it's not very good quality right now. Yeah. We don't want to serve all that to our guests. Yeah. Okay. A a any news about lobster? Same thing. <laughs> I'm really squeezing them, guys. I'm squeezing season. them for oh, you. Soon, 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 we promise. Okay, soon. look at him. We He's promise. sweating for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, we really want to, but we want to put out a good quality. Yeah. Good quality. It's just like, 
for the Bellagio. It's mm. just when uh, when the pandemic hits that there's not much fishermen that the stock that out there it's not in a good quality. That's why we're waiting for the next batch. Mm-hmm. Understandable. Understandable. Yes, we're waiting to have them, but there there's a shortages of those Alaskan yeah. king, king okay. crab legs. A lot of stuff happened during the pandemic. It's oh, not that's the true, same, that's but true. it's getting better. It's getting better. Hopefully, in the next fishing season, mm. we can have good quality. All right. And you can come back. We'll invite you back. Okay. So, for for the near future visitors, what would be the thing in here that cannot be missed? Like, that you got to get it. That you don't want to miss. What would it be? Oh, we're gonna have a lot of awesome sushi. That we're gonna make a hand roll on the station, and we're gonna have ramen station. We're gonna have um, a lot of good things. Okay, what's your favorite dish? You know what? We're gonna put soon. Uh, we're gonna put the whole roasted pig. I like that lechon. Yeah. Le An chon, entire that roasted meat. pig. Entire whole pig. Can you eat a whole pig? Can Can I bring the <laughs> whole pig to my table? <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> so, so anyway, it's very generous of of uh, the chef and the nice manager lady to give us a few minutes. Is is a uh, down two chefs today? So he still came out to speak. So. Hey, thank you, so, nice much. so much. Thank you. The thank nice you. chef. <laughs> the very nice chef. Thank, thank you so thank much. You, thank you, nice manager nice lady. Thank you, thank nice you so you. much. Okay. All right, guys.